Hello, I'm Ronnie from the blog Our High Street Home, and this video today is in correlation with my last blog post about how you can upcycle some of those beautiful holiday cards that you don't want to put in the recycling bin. This is the first of three projects I'm going to be posting. So once I figured out which jar I was going to use with which card, I started to take the backing off this card. And how I did it was I spritzed the back of the card with water and I let it soak in for maybe two or three minutes. And once it does, you can start to peel those back layers off. Some layers remove much easier than others. Some you can just rub off with your finger, but some cards you can actually lift the corner and peel a couple of those layers right off. And it's just to make the image on the front more pliable and easier to work with so when you wet it and you go to glue it on, the glue can penetrate that picture better. I started by putting a thick layer of craft paint on my jar. And I used a sponge to put this first layer on because I wanted it on the thick side. This paint said it was good on all surfaces, so I know a lot of times I say to prime glass, but this did say it went on glass well, so I thought I'd give it a try. This paint's on the thick side and left a lot of texture on this jar which I really liked. For my second layer of paint I did not bounce it on, I brushed it on with the foam brush because I didn't want to create any more texture. This is the front of my Christmas card after I had removed most of the back layers of paper and cut out the shape that I wanted. Now once the jar was dry, I applied a good amount of Mod Podge, a pretty thick layer of Mod Podge, to the area where I wanted to place my picture. Now because the picture's already been wet once, when it is dry like it is here it's pretty stiff so I did have to spritz it with water to make it pliable again and have it form um, around the jar so I essentially I used a misting bottle and Mod Podge together and you just have to work with it a little bit it becomes softened as you work with it So because this image came off of a card, even though I've taken the back layers off, it's still a thicker piece of paper, so you have to hide the borders. So I made some homemade um, texture paste, and it is two tablespoons of baking soda, two tablespoons of Mod Podge, and usually about a half teaspoon of water is what I start with, and I mix it up, and it becomes this nice thick texture and I use just a brush and pounce it around the edge of the picture, the edge that I want to hide or where I want to create 
a lot of texture and it kind of gives like a snowy effect. So I want it to place kind of like this snow all around my picture. And I placed a little bit towards the inner section as well. Now this mixture does not take long at all to dry and so far I found that it holds up just great. So after that was dried, and I would say I let it dry for about an hour after I put that texture paste on there. I covered the entire bottle with a sparkle varnish by Plaid. And you can't really see the sparkle in it when it's wet, but when this varnish dries, it does have this nice little shimmer. It gives the entire piece. As you can see here, I'm putting that varnish all over the texture paste and that texture paste is not moving at all. So this is how it looks when the varnish is dry. Then I went back in with some triple thick, just a little bit. I wanted to stick on some sparkles that were more intense, just around the wreath. So I took the triple thick on this little brush and I just bounced the triple thick all over where I have my fake snow on my picture. And that triple thick is nice for putting sparkles on with so once I got it all over where um, I wanted it on the snow I sprinkled my sparkles all over where the triple thick was placed. To finish off my bottle, I had some white lace that I just um, attached around the top using some Mod Podge. 
and this is just an idea for one of those pretty cards that you've gotten that you don't want to put in a recycling bin. It's a great decoration to save for next year or something to save for a gift for someone for next year. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.